Hello, family and friends of Seward United Methodist Church. It's Reverend Mary Kay. It's Wednesday, time for midweek devotions again. And here we are at the end of May. I don't know how many of you know that May is Mental Health Awareness Month. I know mental health is not one of the topics we talk about a lot in the church, and maybe we need to talk about it a bit more. Certainly my friend and pastor, Reverend David Finnegan Hosey, would encourage us to be talking much more about mental health and mental health issues in the life of the church and the congregation. David is a good friend who was also one of my church members back east, and he went to seminary and he went on to become ordained in the Christian Church Disciples of Christ. David struggles with mental health issues, and he tells his story in the book he has written, Christ on the Psych Ward. And he, he's very honest about the struggle with mental illness and how to live with mental illness in a way that is healthy and keeps people safe and, and keeps folks alive. Um, there was a time when David struggled with suicidal thoughts and fortunately there was the suicide hotline that helped get him through. Fortunately there were friends that helped get him through. Fortunately there was the psych ward at Sibley Hospital that helped get him through. And I will never forget the Sunday morning that was his first Sunday back after that initial visit to the psych ward. And he stood up during joys and concerns and asked for people's prayers. And in a moment of what could only be Holy Spirit inspiration, a woman stood up and started to speak in response to what David said and said, of course we will hold you in prayer. There is so many of us that have mental health issues and have members that have family members who struggle with mental health issues. And then she called for folks for whom mental health was a struggle or for whom they had a close family member that it was a struggle to stand to be in solidarity with David. And all these people stood up. And that's not something we would have known because we don't talk about the struggle. And sometimes we need to talk about the struggle. And sometimes we need to remember that there are all kinds of resources available to help deal with mental health issues. David, in writing in Christ on the Psych Ward, describes one of the things that can be helpful. He said um, that when he was at his uh, darkest time and when he was in the hospital, um, that there were times I was despairing of or doubting the existence of God in the midst of my pain. Had visitors shared their intellectual or even their initial emotional responses, they would have gone unheard. But David, people could have said, God is always with you even in this difficult time. Perhaps some did say that, and perhaps from a theological standpoint their statements would have been true. But from within the storm of mental illness, I could not always hear that truth. Just as when I shared that I felt lonely, isolated, and abandoned, I could not hear the truth of the very people who were there with me saying, we are here, we have not abandoned you. I could not internalize that truth in the midst of my pain. I remember relatively little of what anyone said to me while I was in the hospital. Yet years later, I absolutely remember who was there. In the hospital, I needed the presence of people, people with bodies. Those people were able to provide presence, 
paradoxically by being willing and able to sit with the discomfort of my expressions of abandonment and isolation. I did not need disembodied intellectual arguments about God's presence. I needed people who could be physically and emotionally present when I asked, why isn't God present? In those people, and in my experience of absence, I experienced God's presence by questioning God's presence. And then later on in the book, he comes back to the importance of just the, the power of being willing to be present to one another. And sometimes simple accompaniment is what is needed. A silent companionship that consists of sharing the journey in all its struggles and joys. Sitting with, listening, even when there are no words. Walking alongside in quite a literal sense to that scary psychiatrist appointment, to the hospital again, to the new house or the old house where the ghosts of loneliness whisper from every corner. In the community of the community of the church is called alongside, called to be a simple presence. This paradoxically is often the most challenging act one can be asked to do. So whether you are someone who struggles with mental health issues yourself or have a family member or a friend that struggles, know that the power of other people and their presence can make a difference. Here at the church, we have a simple set of sheets provided by our faith community nurses that provide some information on coping with stress and healthy ways of dealing with stress and mental health and crisis. So there are some good phone numbers for emergency situations and who you can reach out to for more help and information. This day, I invite us all to hold in our hearts and our prayers those who struggle with mental illness. And for David Finnegan Hosey, I give thanks. Y'all take care. See you Sunday.